What's up guys, thanks for coming back to the video. This is gonna be a cool one. We got white boy 392. Get ready for the intro. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause bitch I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them What's up fam? Uh, my name's Miguel Amaya uh, They know me as White Boy Because of my white body But yeah, it's a 2019 uh, White Body Scat Pack Challenger 392 as other people like to know it as and um, yeah we're just gonna dive in uh, my colors destroy your gray my asset colors are tiffany blue or other people see it as turquoise um, but basically my this car has always been my dream car uh, i grew up uh, i remember uh, in, in high school back in 2010 when the challenger started coming out the srts uh, the v6s everything um, I, I just, when I saw them, I fell in love. I, I always said to myself, one day I'm gonna have that car. I don't know what year, I don't know what model, but one day I'm gonna have that car. And I just grew up with that, with that goal in my mind. Uh, I would work in high school. There was times where I didn't have a car, so I would have to catch the bus. Sometimes the bus would be late, so I would walk. And I remember I lived on, uh, I live on 91st Avenue in Camelback, for those Phoenix people. And I used to go to work all the way out to 16th Street in Camelback. So sometimes I would take the bus down. I would walk whatever I could walk and I just had to make it. And I remember fast forward to some years later, um, I started dating my wife. And she was with me when I didn't have a job, when I didn't have a car. But I would always tell her, one day I'm gonna have a challenger. And she believed me, she would always tell me, yeah, just work hard. Um, a year later, we got married. I got her her car, a Nissan Altima. And we struggled with one car. I remember um, sometimes I would work night shifts or day shifts. She would have to drive for me to pick me up at one in the morning sometimes or take me to work at six in the morning sometimes. And she was with me, uh, shout out to my wife. She's, she was with me through the struggle until a year later in 2019, November, I remember a weekend after my birthday, uh, I was able to get my car. Um, I had to work hard for it. Uh, I like to tell people this quote, it says, uh, people see my glory, but they don't know my story. And that, that's how my life was. Um, I had to go through a struggle without a car many times, have my wife struggle with me, and now I get to enjoy what God gave me, which is my car. Um, the whole process with Dodge was so easy. Shout out to uh, Larry H. Miller. They, they were so easy with me. Um, I, I went there and it, it was so easy. Um, I didn't have to put as much of a down as I thought I did. And I got my car within within minutes, bro. It wasn't hours. It was within, a, I would say, half an hour. I take my car everywhere. I don't hold back on it. Uh, I was saying I take my car uh, on trips, road trips, wherever I have to go. I even take it camping. Um, I'll go to Sedona, to Flagstaff. I don't care where it's at. I go camping. I go to the lakes, Lake Pleasant, Lake Havasu. Um, I go everywhere, bro. I, I take it. <laughs> I would take it off-roading if I could, but I don't want to do it too much. But, but yeah, I take it everywhere. I, I was telling you, bro. Uh, there's no limits to what a 392 can do, and and I, I love to prove it's it all the time. Cool. It's, uh, I don't. I'm not a big racer, but uh, I do like to. Uh, when people like to push me, I do prove them wrong in the road. But most of the time, I like to just cruise. I love to enjoy my car, go at a, a, a small pace, I would say. Um, but, but yeah. I, I got a quick question. This is a yeah, question right. I think I should ask earlier. Do you ever get mistaken for Hellcat? Uh, all the time, bro. All the time. I remember I took my wife to Vegas one day. <laughs> we were just cruising around trying to find the, the garage of the hotel. And you hear a little kid walking with his dad. Oh, that's a demon. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's a scat pack. And, and many times people pull up next to me and they're like, oh, is that a Hellcat? I tell them, no, it's just a scat pack. And uh, many times I'm like, why don't people just, just, why don't people just see the, the, the little head, man? It's not a cat. It's not a devil. <laughs> it's a bee. <laughs> oh, that's what that is? Yeah. Dude, I, honestly, I didn't know what that was. I thought it was like a little spaceman or something. No, no. I, was like, I was like, what is, the, what is up with the, the thing yeah. people are putting on here? Yeah, no, it's the scat pack. Uh, the little bee, it's the cat. But yeah, many times people ask me, is that a Hellcat or, or little kids? Oh, that's a demon, but no. I wish it was, but no, it, it's a scat pack. We're starting there at scat pack. Oh, okay, cool, man. Yeah, yeah um, like I was saying, bro, um, when my goal at first when I was trying to get a Challenger is I was focused on getting a V6. I was, I was actually going to get, I think, a 2012 V6 back in the day. 
Um, but like I say, only God knows why I couldn't get it. Things just wouldn't line up for me, and I never got it. Then fast forward, uh, my best friend, shout out to my boy Andy Delgado. Um, he has a 2018 Charger Daytona. It's it's beautiful, uh, octane red. But um, he's the one that would pressure me. He would tell me, bro, just just get a. a a shaker, he would tell me the 5.7, and I was like, okay, I'll move up from a V6 to a 5.7. And little by little, uh, we, he started pushing me more, looking into cars for me. And then we saw the, uh, until the 2018, we saw the Challenger T8. It came out, and I was like, oh, that's a more limited spec. I want to get that one. And we kept looking for it, looking for it. I never could find a car, a T8 to buy. So then uh, fast forward to 2019, after my birthday, I saw the white body, and I was like, man, that just looks meaner. I, I would tell my friend, bro, it looks slower than, uh, than how it usually is. It just looks buffer, it looks meaner. And I was like, I have to get a white body. So when I was looking for a car, I would tell my wife, like, I don't care what color it is, I want a white body. And when I went to a dealership, they had this one and a black one. And right away, I was like, no, no, I don't want the black one. <laughs> I was like, it's always gonna be dirty. I'm never gonna keep it clean. So uh, I got the destroyed gray. And yeah, little did I know, the color grew on me. Like I really love destroyer gray now. And with the accent colors of Tiffany Blue, it just really stands out. Nice. What I love to do is, um, I like to put Tiffany Blue in my car because it stands out and I feel like everybody has their own flavor to add to the mix. Uh, I see many people use yellow. Uh, my best friend uses gold. A lot of people use red, but I feel like to me, um, it has to be something about you. And uh, it, it is one of my favorite colors, uh, this uh, turquoise Tiffany blue. Um, I mainly love blue, black, or gray, but I feel like this color just combines so beautiful with black and gray. So that's why I, I chose that color. I, I really love it. And <laughs> at first, my wife would tease me because she would tell me that's a girl's color. But now I just love it. I feel like now that color, like it, it's a part of me. Anytime you see that color or I see it, I'm like, damn, like that really looks good in my car. So everything I try to get, I try to get it that color. It's a rare breed, man. I, I mean, I would have never thought of that. I would have been doing some red and like yeah. the normal stuff everybody do. Yeah. But then I saw this and I was like, all right, I gotta come out some. I gotta come with yeah. something. I was almost throw it on the black. I was like, damn, it looked good. Yeah, well, thanks, bro. So we we got the message here on the back of the car. Is this for you or is this for the people following behind you? What's up with this right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what happened with this is uh, at first I wanted to get a decal. I see a lot of people get a, like an American flag on there or the honeycomb for the scat bag. And it'll say scat bag on there or challenger. And I always thought I like to be different, bro. I was like, no, I want to get something different. I wanted to get something to cover up right here. So I thought, you know what? I can get a custom decal. And um, shout out to uh, my girl, Sabrina. Her Instagram is Chally Bitch. <laughs> But uh, she, she made this decal for me. It's Psalms 23.4. It says, Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So uh, in English, <laughs> what this means is uh, it doesn't matter where you go, whether you go through hell, whether you're walking in a, in a dark place, it doesn't matter what you're going through. God is always there. It says, um, I, I won't fear any evil. I won't fear anybody because I know you're with me. And to me, I really take that to heart. Um, I grew up with uh, pastor parents. I was a youth pastor at one point too. And I feel like this this verse in the Bible always spoke to me. Um, I always I always put it in myself because I, I, I always tell my wife, I don't fear anybody, I don't fear anything because I know God is with me. Nothing is gonna happen to me. And if something happens, I know God is there. And so I just chose to put that in the back of my car. And so anybody that drives behind me, um, they can see that and they can see that God is with me. And, God is always a part of my life. He always is and always will be. So I just feel like that's what I wanted to put out there. Dope, 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 man. That's, that's real right there. Merch, uh, Mopar Muscle, that's our club. Um, I got the decal in the front. And um, yeah, Mopar Muscle, we're strictly just Mopar, anything Dodge. Uh, we have Jeeps, we have Durangos. Uh, most of them are our Chargers. We have a few Challengers. But what we like to represent is just uh, American Muscle. Uh, we just like to show up to club meetings anything that we get invited to, we show up and, and we show it some love. Uh, what we like to do is, we're more of a family than anything else. Um, we're not focused in racing, we're not focused in trash talking, we're not focused on trying to compete with other clubs. What we like to do is we just like to sh uh, show support. Uh, we've been out there with um, AZ Elites, we've been out there with uh, Head Turners, uh, we, we show love to uh, the Mustang community as well, uh, Boss BOS Mustang Club. We love to show support because we feel like we're all family, you know? We like to go out there, uh, see beautiful cars, show off beautiful cars, 
And anybody that wants to join a club, uh, we're, we're open, man. We don't show door, we don't shut doors to anybody. We have our, our limits, uh, but we just mainly like to show support. Right. One thing I can tell you, bro, is uh, we're a big family because many times other uh, members have car problems. Sometimes they'll have to get their car towed off of me, or uh, they have to leave their car at the dealership to get fixed. And right away, what I see what my press and my VP do is they, they hit up in the chat and they'll say, hey, do you need a car? I can let you borrow one of my cars, or you can, you can take my car to the meet if they're not gonna show up. And uh, that, to me, that's unique, bro. Um, I've never seen that. Everybody's always selfish. Everybody's always uh, like, no, don't touch my car. But what we like to do is we're open to each other. We help each other out. It's a brotherhood, man. And I feel like that's what we're there for. If you wanna join the club, uh, you can follow our Instagram page. It's moparmuscle underscore CC. And uh, yeah, just hit us up. We're there. We welcome anybody. If you want to roll out and get to know us, you can hit us up. We'll invite you and you can get a taste of what we like to do. We're open. So uh, I know we said we got some something special under the hood here. Some stuff you did with the yeah. Tiffany Blue, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I always like to, how I said, I feel like we all got our little flavor to add to the mix. So uh, here you go. Here's my little... Uh, what I like to say is I don't show off. I don't flex, but sometimes... We got the right to show a little flex here, man. Right. <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, all this I did by hand myself. Um, my boy Puga that did my calipers uh, and emblem. Uh, he helped me do these on the hood, uh, on the motor, sorry. But everything else um, I did myself. I sanded it down. I spray painted, clear coated, and um, and yeah, bro. And then uh, my girl with the decal, she helped me with this scat pack decal. But everything else I did myself. I, I ordered the oil catch can from billet technology i ordered it silver because i knew i was going to paint it myself since they don't have the color so yeah man if i feel like um if you want to add a color to yourself um, i would say i encourage you to do it bro uh do something different do something to stand out um if you need help you can reach out i don't mind helping if i don't know i'll search it up and we'll find out how to do it but i always like i always like to show support to show uh that we're here to help each other out and, uh, and yeah, I'm, I just like to show support. I just like to show that I'm, I'm there to help anybody that needs help. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, he's doing this for free, guys. So just yeah. feel free to <laughs> <laughs> hit him up each yeah. time. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so we got that going on. I know you said you added the air box in here. Yeah, I added a Hellcat air box just to get more uh, air in the, into the motor. Okay. And yeah, I just ordered it from Dodge, installed it myself. Um, had to buy the air box on the bottom, the little tube to go in the headlight. Um, and yeah, it, it was a little struggle. Uh, like I was saying earlier, 2019 models, here, let me show you. Um, 2019 models have a little cap that covers where the headlight is. And you have to use a little Allen wrench to take it out and you have to have it at an angle to take it out. Uh, older models, they just pop off, but um, the 2019 models, you have to be careful because uh, yeah, you have to have an Allen wrench to take it off. Mine took me about like two hours to take off on one side and the other. So I, I, I give shout out to whoever can do it in less time and without a struggle, but mine took me about two hours, just giving a heads up. Hey, what do you think those circles are right there for? This? Yeah. Uh, people always tell me cup holders. <laughs> <laughs> cup holders because yeah. you always gonna be working on the motor. Yeah, <laughs> cup holders because uh, uh, it gets hot. <laughs> <when> <laughs> But honestly, I don't know. I just, I just love that they're there. I have used them as cup holders. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I, I'm not a car expert. I don't know what they're there for. Anybody can correct me, but people say cup holders, so I'll say cup holders. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> nice, man. Well, I mean, I know you showed me that, so let's go, let's go into one last thing here. How do, you, uh, how do you keep such a beautiful car clean, man? Yeah, bro. Uh, I was telling you earlier when I got here, I pride myself in keeping my car clean. Um, I do everything myself. I, I have a pressure washer at home. I use my chemicals. I wash my car. I even clean my engine bay. I have a process because um, I wash wheels and, and body. And then I like to add a little uh, performance shiner to the paint. I like to keep it shiny, keep it, uh, you know, coated. So uh, I know one day we'll link up, make a, make a car wash video uh, just to show people if they want to do it themselves. But I'm always there, bro. Um, like I told you, anybody in the Phoenix area that wants to uh, detail their car, I'm not a detailer, but I can show you how I do it so you can get an idea of how to do it yourself. Um, because what I like to say is I like to do everything myself. I, I do oil changes to my own car. I help my friend in his Daytona change his uh, brake pads. So uh, I feel like it's something that I like to pride myself in where 
I learn it and I practice it and then in my future kids I can teach them and their generations so I, I tell people I encourage that you know if you want to learn to do it yourself do it yourself if you don't know we'll search it up and we'll practice it ourselves but uh, but yeah I, I can show you guys how I clean my engine bay how I clean my tires and how I clean my body it's, it's easy bro it, it takes a couple hours but it, it's a lost art is what I like to say to me it's a lost art cleaning your own car there's nothing like cleaning your own car bro because um, I just love the satisfaction of you, you know, wiping down the paint, um, scrubbing it with soap, and, and just you know, getting all that grease out, all that dirt. I just, I just feel like it's fun for me. I I'm gonna enjoy it. chime in on that. I, you say it's a lost art. I just say I'm lazy. Yeah. <laughs> I still run it through the wash. I don't, yeah. When I first bought it, I was the same way, and yeah. then that black, like you said earlier, it keeps getting dirty yeah. every day. Every day I wake up, I see a new piece of dust on the phone. <laughs> All right, man. Well, you want to uh, give a shout out to your channel or to your to your Instagram? And yeah, yeah, my Instagram. Uh, you can follow me. It's wideboy underscore three ninety two. The e in wide is is a number three, so it's wideboy underscore three ninety two. In your car, if you want help detailing interior exterior, you can hit me up on Instagram, and I'll answer, bro. I'll make time, and we'll do it. Most definitely, man. Hey, thanks for having me out, and thanks for bringing your beast out here too, because. I mean, obviously we came to see you in the, the car, but yeah. we came to see the car. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, most definitely, man. So Y'all heard it here first uh, with white boy underscore 392. Thanks for bringing out your car. Thanks, bro. And uh, we're going to get some more videos going on in the future because I know hella more mods is coming. So yeah, bro, more. <laughs> let's see it. Let's see what you do, okay? All right, man. Thanks, yeah. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Uh, Love, love you guys and uh, yeah just hit me up anything you need bro we'll link up more often and yeah there's more to come I can tell you that phone and progression is all that I wanted the phone and affection I summon and dub it cause bitch I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them I run through the money the press will be calling left on my blessings I feel like I'm falling the birdie is back tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something that's why I ain't calling phone and progression is all that I wanted the phone and affection I summon and dub it